welcome to Psychic Mo Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green. I am going to be bringing you 30 minutes worth of questions, answers, and hopefully connections. Yes, connections with loved ones on the other side. If you have a question, if you'd like to connect with a loved one on the other side, please don't hesitate to call. Um, 845-277-9131. I'll be happy to help you in any way I possibly can. Uh, if you do get through, please, when I call your area code, give me your name and the city or state you're calling from and an exact question. Also, please take me off of speakerphone. Um, so I'm going to get going with callers in a second. I want to thank everybody watching me live on YouTube, listening to me live on the podcast that they're listening to me on. And I want to get, uh, let's see. Hmm. We're going to start with a clearing and I, you know what? Let's go with, a, we are, uh, we are stuck. Um, all that is keeping us stuck has been cleared. So let's do that. Um, whew. Now, this can be in any area of your life. And this is if you're watching, re-watching, listening, re-listening. So if you're listening or watching the replay, this will still help you. And this can be money, work, love, and again, any area of your life. Hey, uh, Fawn, Cheryl, um, Pat, thank you so much for saying hi on the YouTube chat. And I want to let you know if you would like a private session, you can contact me um, on my website, T O N I G dot I N F O, Tony G dot info. That's the only way to pretty much contact me for an appointment. I don't reach out to people, I don't. Um, I don't reach out to people on social media or any other venue. And a few of my people have been ripped off by some of these scammers. And just a note, they're all over um, social media, Instagram, YouTube. And I think one of the things that they don't realize is they might think they're just reaching out to people, getting a little bit here and there. What they're actually doing is identity theft. And for every single case of identity theft, that's first of all federal. Thank you. Yes, it's federal. So for each person you reach out to, that's a federal case you're about to catch. Did I mention, I used to have a duplex and one of my favorite tenants was an FBI agent. Mm, the people we know and the things they'll do for us. Not me personally. This is cyber crimes. He didn't do that. Just saying, before you scam someone, anyone, before you commit crimes, you might want to think about the consequences. All right, let's go to the show. The first caller is 917 917, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Tina. I'm from New Jersey. How are you? I'm good, Tina. If you have me on speakerphone or Bluetooth or anything like that, please take me off because it is a little staticky. Right. But I'm going to do the best I can to help you today. What's your, what yeah. would, uh, how can I help you? <laughs> Uh, thank you. Yes, I would like to ask a question about um, what the spirit has for me with my relationship with my birth and Todd. Okay, what's his name, love? Just his first name is fine. Todd. I said Todd. Oh. Todd. Okay. See, the connection is just a little froggy. I have my phone up as far as it can go. Okay, Todd. You and Todd. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so I'm going to say right from the get, um, there's something unknown about this relationship. Now, something a lot of people don't realize when you're working with somebody who does the work the way I do, 
if someone's hiding something, I even I can't get the information. Sometimes I try to, but if I can't get into their energy or I can't tap in very quickly, it means either they're a very guarded person or they're very, um, they might be keeping some, a lot of things to themselves. I'm going to tell you, this is a person who, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, he might be, uh, keeping, <laughs> hmm. I'm just going to say this is a person who who might have uh, uh, be very guarded or keeping a lot of things to himself. I am going to say that moving forward. Um, I, are you aware? Are you aware he's a very um, that he might have things going on that he doesn't let everybody know? He is. That's exactly how he is. OK, thank you. Phew. Okay. I'm going to tell you, um, I, I'm trying to pick up, I'm, I'm reaching through all the messages and all the energy and I'm like, just give me something. I, I, okay. Thank you. This relationship is going to go as far as you allow it to go. Um, whatever you decide, you you, uh, however far you want to take this is where it's going to go. You have to be, um, they're about to get, make me say things that I'm trying not to say, sweetie. Um, I'm going to tell you, um, <laughs> girl, I am fighting them right now because, <laughs> you can say it, you can say it. Um, I think you are aware that certain relationships might come with certain consequences um, and whatever that is. Okay. So every relationship has consequences and I'm not trying to, um, what, whatever I'm just, I what I'm going to, Oh, thank you. Thank gosh. Thank goodness. I'm just going to say that be, be, be aware of any consequences that might come or any fallout that might come from this situation. I am going to say again that you are the one in charge of how long or how far this goes. Now, someone on the other side, I feel like it's either a grandma. There are two women here that just stepped in for you. Doink, doink, doink. Um, one of them is a thinner and she's wearing what she calls a house coat and some house slippers. And the other one was a little bit fuller, more robust, definitely a more, you know, fuller woman. <laughs> um, and she... <laughs> She's probably my mother and my grandmother. Okay. Now, what they want to say is um, when you're done, uh, I, I'm not using that word, but when you're done with this situation, when you're done playing with this, um there is someone that is so much more solid for you and they're asking you they're they're rec they're stating they're they're outright saying why don't you I wouldn't talk to you like that but they're comfortable talking to you like this why don't you find someone who can give you everything it is that you're looking for that whole situation um but now again you know, things happen, we end up where we end up and we, we, we fall for people that we fall for. It can be a lesson. It can be a blessing. It can be a lifetime. It can be a sometimes where we, we feel like we're not in charge of that, but they want you to know you are the only one in charge of this. Okay. Um, and then I don't, I don't know what this means because this can mean, this doesn't just mean one thing. OK, but you're going to know how they mean it for you. They're saying, don't catch a case. Don't catch a case. Now, a lot of people might think this is like a criminal case. They, But there, there's a lot of ways we can. Um, there are a lot of ways we can we can we can catch a case of love you know, with the wrong person. So whatever they mean for this, and it might be beyond this relationship, it might mean, you know, in some other area of your work, 
of your life. So please, um, whatever, however they mean this, please pay attention to it because they've come through very strong to give you this message and to make sure that you have heard it today and to help you to kind of what they're calling get back on track, fast track, work on you, uh, focus on your goals. So that's, and they love you and they love you. And that's what they want. They want to, um, they want to tell you. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so how do we reach out out of this? I, I'm sorry. Can you say that again? How do we reach you outside of this for reading? Oh, um, via my website, uh, T O N I G dot I N F O. It, the links should be in anything you're listening on or watching on. And you can also call 414 897 2869 to schedule an appointment. Okay. Thank you so much for asking that. And I look Thank you. forward to next time. And I do, I really do hope this, this was helpful for you. And thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 310. 310, how are you doing today, love? Yes, hello. I'm doing well, thank you. Excellent. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Yes, my name is Susan, and I'm calling from Oklahoma. Hey, Susan, how can I help you today? Yes, I'm wondering if you, uh, if a spirit sees a move for me in the near future. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer that in a second. But first, I have to ask you: Does, does this song mean anything to you or possibly somebody on the other side? Because <laughs> as soon as you started talking, this song came in my head and it's, I want to be a cowboy. I can't even sing it right. I can't sing any song right, first of all. <laughs> and you can be my cow, girl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's it. I'm stopping there. I don't care how many more lyrics they give me. And that's my end point. Um, do, you, do you, is that, does that mean something to you or somebody that, and I do see an older gentleman just stepped in for you from the other side. He was a little okay. for a gentle, I, I feel like I, this is a dad or a granddad. I don't think it's an uncle, but he, he had that middle weight, you know, that weight around the stomach a little bit, but it was solid all the way through. I don't think he got the pregnancy belly more the like the the full round belly, but not big, not obese. And he's saying that he was a hard worker his whole life. Um, and so does this, it, it, and he's wearing like a button down shirt that had, I think it's a granddad just because of the pattern of the shirt. It has that plaid, um, plaid design on it. And it might've even, it might've yeah. even been one of those 70s shirt that was a snap down shirt for, you know, easy access. Um, I'm joking about that. Okay. I said the easy access part, not him. Um, and um, denim on the bottom. I think that's denim. Anyway, this person just stepped in for you. Okay. Do, you do Are you familiar with who this might be? Yes, it's probably, probably one of my grandfathers. Excellent. And he uh, okay so he's here to help give give you some some messages today okay so about the move i'm sorry that that was like you know a song and a person and no answer to your question so let's get to your question uh do do i see a move in for are you going to be moving soon? Are you going to be relocating soon? Yes, I hear yes. I hear June. Now you're going to have some choices that you're going to have to make. You're going to have to think qu quick on your feet. Be quick on your feet. Be quick on your feet. Um, you're going to have to like when something comes up, you're going to have to like decide, decide, decide. I'm going to tell you that whatever's coming up for you, if you don't decide quickly, it will be gone quickly. I do feel like, are you relocating out outside of the area that you live in now? I... Yes. Okay. And are you going? That's, that's, the, that's the plan. 
Okay. Now, one of the things that they're saying is you, um, okay. Yeah. You're, that's a good plan. It's a really good plan. Don't, don't. Oh, shoot. Shit. Oh, sorry, everybody. Um, <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, poop. Um, my phone. I do not know what's going on, folks, but the phone was sitting there the whole time. And then all of a sudden it just slid not only off the computer, but like almost onto the floor. So sorry about that. Um, I'm so sorry. I lost. I, and it's been happening. And I, it, 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 how does it just start? Well, well I know how it starts moving. Y'all know how it starts moving. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Jesus. I'm like this one person. Like, you should see me when I'm alone in my house. You think this stops when the cameras go off? Oh, heck no. Um, they entertain me all day. Um, okay. I'm just going to try to, to, make sure this doesn't move again. Um, okay, move, move, move. Yes. Okay. You will be relocating. You're supposed to be relocating. I feel like it, 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 June is going to be the month where everything starts to either the, uh, either, either everything's going to open up up in June or in June, you will have, is she moving in June? No, you're going to, you're going to find it in June. I'm just going to hold the phone because folks, if you just see my phone, you just see my phone. There's, there's nothing I can do about that. Okay. And I'm sorry about the audio because now it's not going to be in one stable place. It's going to be moving around with my hands and it is what it is. Okay. So in June, you're going to be, um, I feel like in June, you're going to be, I don't know if you're going to be finding the place in June or if June is, but June is going to be a really big month. It's going to be very relevant. You have to pay attention to everything going on all the way around. And you are going to find this place in possibly May, June. So pay attention during that time. Um, and, and yes, you are going to be relocating for sure, but you have to not hesitate. Don't hesitate. You have to move fast like my phone did a okay. few seconds ago. <laughs> okay, I'm so sorry that I am um, <laughs> that this is so good. So I'm so sorry about, about that. I hope that this was helpful for you, love. <laughs> Yes, thank you. You're you're awesome. Thank you so much. You are so so welcome. While I go to the next caller, I want to say hello to um I'm going to try to um I'm going to try to say some of the names on here. I think it's da Dave, Dave, Bon, Mimi, Cheryl. I love you guys so much. I also want to say hi to a few people that I know listen but have not um they cannot Listen, Matthew, my little brother, Stevie, oh my goodness, we threw him, my sister threw him the biggest 40th birthday surprise party. It was amazing. He's such a humble little bean. Love him so much. Okay. 415, how can I help you today? Hi, Tony. This is Kate. Hey, Kate. How are you? Hello? This is Kate. Hi, Kate. How are you? Oh, hello, Mike. I'm great. Excellent. <laughs> how are you? <laughs> Excellent. How can I help you today? I would um, like to hear from my um, mom. Okay. Um, and the first thing that comes in is this song, and it, it comes in every once in a while. It's a song that they commonly share with me for people. It's been a long time since I've seen you, my friend. Um, and it, it's something, something till I see you again. Do, 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 do. So they use that song a bit and it's just to say, it's, it's like a hello song from when I'm um, helping connect people. Um, she wants to say that you're st stagnating. So I'm gonna, again, Today is a day to get people unstuck. Let's get unstuck, people. We got one life. The one thing we cannot get back is time. 
We cannot get back time. We cannot get back yesterday. We, that's why when people waste our time, whether it be in a relationship, at a job, whatever it is, it is devastating to us because we cannot get back time. So you're very, she is saying you're stagnated. Uh, let's do a clearing on stagnation for you, everybody listening, everybody re-listening. We want to get out of this point because um, for what's been going on in the past, we have been waiting for permission to start our lives again. We've been waiting for a permission. We don't, it's almost like some of us, not everybody, we don't want to uh, do things because we don't want to be, well, what if they, what if everything closes again? What if it gets, what if it doesn't? What if it doesn't? What if we all just get up on our feet, start doing what we do, and we just keep doing it? Um, I'm just going to say, um, does she want me to, do they want me to go to Austin still? The other message was go to Austin. Yes. And and stop stagnating. Stop stagnating. Stop procrastinating. Stop procrastinating. Just get up and go. Enjoy. Live and, and go because you are not only you. I'm not. It's time to yeah. get your. It's and then they're singing the song and oh my goodness. Um, it's a group thing. It's a group thing. Uh -huh. Show them how to do it now. Show them how to do it. Okay. Show the world you can dance. Okay. Every time I say I'm not going to sing, they make me sing. And you know what? If anybody would have asked me to pull out the lyrics to that song, I would have been like, what song? Huh? I don't know. So <laughs> I can't even believe I just like. Oh my gosh. And for those of you it's watching me on you, group thing. Yeah. Group thing. Yes. For those of you watching me, I'm sorry I had to break into a little finger dance there. Um, so what I'm gonna say is it's time to get moving, Kate. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Stop making me sing. <laughs> okay, so yes, go to Austin, visit Austin. Um they're saying that this is a big, big, it's a big, big world. Expand, you know, expand your, and they're showing me this huge, like, eagle. Expand your wings and fly. Don't let anything weigh you down. You know, an eagle can literally pick up an alligator and fly with it in its grips. And you would think an eagle is, like, lighter. And how could it pick up something so much heavier? But it can right? Okay. I'm, I'm totally messing this up, but we all get the idea. Soar and just pick up whatever you need to and go and soar is basically the whole premise of what she is saying. It's time to get your going, get your going, get going, get your going. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, that's what she I, has I, for I you. <laughs> Yeah, eagle has come up like every day this week. Somebody says an eagle or an eagle song or I see a picture of an eagle. So Soar. It's, it's still amazing. So, and yeah. what what do eagles yeah. do? Eagles do not stay sedentary. Eagles, they, they I mean, seriously, get up and get going. It, 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 go, soar, fly. And their eyesight. And they could see they could see everything clearly. Yes, and it's time for you. It's it's really time. And then they're singing this. It's time for me to fly that song. I'm gonna try. I'm not breaking into verse again. I'm not. I just. I'm not doing it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I know the song. <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness. Okay, so Kate, I hope this was helpful. I look okay. forward to talking with you again. Until then, have an absolute. You. you are so. Thank you, love. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. My pleasure. And believe me, it wasn't intentional. It just like, it all comes out like that. I am going to go to caller um, 203203. How are you today? Hey, Tony. It's Pat. How are you? Hey, Pat. I'm doing well. How are you? Oh, um, I'm not doing so great. Really trying to get out of it. I appreciated your 
you're getting unstuck energy thing. Anyway, I talked to you a couple of weeks ago about this this man that I tried to um, connect with on a single thing. I mentioned everything about his life is perfect. I just need to get to know him. Um, and I got fraudulently charged on that single thing. So I'm not doing it through there. I, I found his email. And he hasn't responded. I have a feeling that he didn't get it. Okay. So what and I'm getting right now yeah. is um, stop. Don't go any further with this. Um, don't, don't. And don't don't go back to the singles thing. Don't go any further with it. Listen, it, it, here's one thing I've learned. And I'm going to, I cannot be more uh, clear about this. And it's not only for you. It's for, for anyone listening um, or watching what's meant to be is not that difficult. If we reach out, if we, um, move forward and it's meant to be, it, it will happen. Anything we are actively trying to attain and and we're and obstacles are coming up is that is in the way of what we are supposed to be having so this is a distraction let it go you did your due diligence you sent an email if it didn't get there if he didn't respond who cares let it go if it were meant to be there would have been a response already it's time for you to move into a new um, a new direction. And, you know, I, I, I'm going to say, I'm going to, it's, it's really, it's really, um, dating is a whole new beast and single women and single men, there, there are a lot of different categories and there are, um, a lot of different people out there and if, no matter what age group you're in and and no matter what um situation you're in it's it, it whether you're male or female it can be very challenging for dating and sometimes when somebody looks perfect on paper mm, they might not be they might be they might be but you know Here's here's what I'm going to say. Try to meet people organically and don't force situations. If you have to ask key questions, and I've always said this, I should. Okay, I have about uh, just a couple quick moments left. So I'm going to go to 914. 914, how are you today? I'm great. Thank you so much for taking my call. And what a beautiful show. Thank you. You're welcome. How can I help you really quick? Because I, sh I probably shouldn't have even taken this call. <laughs> um, I appreciate it. Um, if you see um, me working with either Adam or Ellen, if either one of these people would like to take me on as a client to work with on projects together. Okay. Um... Uh, okay, so the, the question is, do I see either one of them taking you on to work on projects together? Uh, yes, I feel like the, I feel like, yes, I feel like b both might, but I also feel like you're going to have to have the appropriate discernment to um, know which is the best choice for you. Okay, love? Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Absolutely. My pleasure. I want to thank everybody who listened and watched and watched, rewatched. Please go back to those clarity.